Good morning friends, my name's Ted and it's great to join you for morning prayers here at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so before we do anything else, let's pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence as revealed in your word, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. If you haven't done today's readings yet, now is an excellent time to do so. Go on, take all the time you need. We'll be here when you get back. Our memory verse for today comes from our second lesson, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing you have made, and you forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain from you, the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Faith and hope are two words that can seem a little wishy-washy. Perhaps they seem a bit flimsy, like very thin paper that falls apart with the lightest touch or drop of water. Hope, an expectation of something that does not yet exist, and faith, a sense that that hope will be vindicated, can seem almost transparent in their insipidness. Yet the Bible is teaching us the opposite. Faith in Jesus is muscular. It has a hairy chest. It is sweaty and sunburnt from hard outdoors work in the real world. Faith is the gift of God given to those whom he chooses. And it awakens our minds and our hearts to the way things really are. Faith peers past the veil of mere stuff and shows how everything is held together in God's perfect plan and that the purpose and culmination of that plan is the glorification of the Father through the glorification of the Son. Faith is the power of God the Holy Spirit who points us to the Son and therefore to the Father and assures us our sins are forgiven that we will be resurrected into perfect and eternal bodies and that this world is not all that there is. Our hope, likewise, knows a thing or two about hard work. We hope in things not yet seen, but we hope in faith, which means that we know we are guaranteed to get that which we are hoping for. Faith reveals to us that Jesus' blood is sufficient to cover our sins, and faith applies that forgiveness. And we hope in the fact that this is true and will remain true forever, because God has promised it. God's promises are unbreakable. God is calling us home, out of the dark. We no longer fear God under the slavery of sin, but now fear him in holy love as the children of God in the loving presence of our Heavenly Father. We have confidence to enter our Father's presence, both right now and forevermore, because we enter through the body of Jesus. Jesus, as high and perfect priest, guarantees that we are wanted in this place, ushering us in. He has sprinkled our hearts clean of a guilty conscience. So draw near to God in faith. This, the close and permanent communion between the Christian soul and God, is our calling. It's our past, our present and our future. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. Let's pray. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. And in the meantime, may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.